Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me, we heard 37. So we're in Hilton Head, where that flashing is, and we are on our way to Tifton, Georgia. So let's go ahead, I think I've already got the parking brake set, maybe not. There we go. So I wonder if I can't just like, click it with the mouse. Alright. Let's just check our fuel. Let's move our fuel down. 60%. Well, no. Let's go 67%. Well, let's go 70. I'm just think, trying to think about the cargo. That's about 45%. Alright, what our we can carry is our two passengers, and let's check our luggage. 116%. See if we can get 200 pounds in. Alright. 150? 151? 41, 41? Alright, we'll do that. Test the type of flight. Uh, it's a normal flight. Uh, destination. K-T-M-A. Henry Tift Myers. Apparently this guy... Henry Tift Myers was the first pilot set. of Air Force One. Thought that was kind of cool. Make sure we got our two guys, or people. Alright, so we'll start this flight. Alright, put this up in the corner. It's time to get their seatbelts on. Now last time I screwed up and I hit that strobe apparently instead of the beacon. And that docked me some points. Let's turn our fuel pump on. See if we can't get this thing started. Hold on one second. Yeah. I want to make sure we're going to have to push back because people are saying you got to push back before you start, which is true, but I just normally don't do it. Normally we're already started. And get it turned. There we go. Turn the generator on. Fuel pump off. So our nav and our beacon are on. We'll go ahead and turn the pitot heat on. Avionics on. Alright, we'll hit up ATC. Get this out of the way. Uh, we're going to head a little more to the west, I do believe. Check our GPS. Uh, yes, more to the west. Although to the south, it doesn't really matter. Get this out of the way as well. Alright, I'll put my heading on three, so I can remember it. Alright, uh, taxi lights on. Alright, let's go ahead and taxi on over. Is it right or left? Man, I was going to have to push back. I thought there was more open room over there. So you know what, we'll just... Go forward. Just turn around easy like that. All right. I can't remember. I think we came in on. Did we come in on runway twenty one? I think this is the way we. The opposite. So technically, we should be going on twenty one. You would think because of the wind, because I actually flew just a little bit ago, about an hour, hour and a half ago or so. Uh, but this one's going to Tifton, Georgia, and I think we're going to go from there to uh, Tallahassee. And I'm going to try and go from Tallahassee to Key West. I'm not sure of 
exactly how far we can go. I can't remember how far we can get with this plane, especially if it's fully loaded. And I'm not sure how far it is from Tallahassee. Which I, Tallahassee's up in the up Panhandle, Peninsula, Panhandle of Florida. I believe. And Key West is obviously to the south. So I'm not sure how far it is, and I'm not sure how far... We should be able to get there, I would think. It's not like you can't get that far. I'm trying to think. There's not a whole lot of other scenery that I've got. I don't think I have much scenery for Florida. I've got Miami, of course, and uh, I do have Orlando, but I cannot get Orlando to work properly. There's something wrong where it's stuttering, so I don't ever go there. By the way, that airport is unbelievably awesome. Which is kind of sucks that I can't use it real well. I believe it's FS Dream. I can't. I shouldn't say that it is. I'm not really sure, but it is quite a nice airport. Whoa! Went way too far. Let's bring up ATC. See if we can yell at him yet. There we go. Sweet. Clear for takeoff. Runway three. November Sierra four six seven. All right. Turn on the strobe, the landing lights. Turn off the taxi. So some flaps. Uh, we'll go the six thousand feet. Whoa, where am I going with that? There we go. I did set flaps right, yeah. Alright, put them back to where they were. Well, where am I going with my turns, man? I gotta concentrate. I'm trying to set this. Alright, 700 feet a minute. Uh, let's just do our rolling takeoff. Because we're all set. Hands off for a second. There we go. I like to ring up the GPS. Forty knots. Sixty knots. Up we go. Bye bye, Hilton Head. It's been real. All right, we can go ahead and get rid of the flaps. All right. Head to the west. Leaving the beaches, man. We're just Myrtle Beach, Hilton Head. It's been fun. It'd be more fun if the scenery was correct in this area. It's not barren land, but oh well. Let's hit the autopilot. Uh, I've got to set the GPS. Make sure I did hit GPS. All right. Let's take a look outside. See, it just doesn't actually look like that. Like, at all. <laughs> Maybe did a couple of decades ago, a few decades ago. It's kind of a cool view. Can't remember what they called that on Easy Dock. We'll go back in. All right, so it's 149 miles, so a little bit longer than we've been going, which is kind of nice. We'll actually make more money off of it. Just as long as we've got enough fuel. Oh, we've got tons of fuel. All right, so change my view so that we can go ahead and speed it up. Do 4x, and I will be back in just a bit. Actually, we might do 8x. Well, no, because then it does that reload, and I hate that. That's 
more of a chance of it something crashing or something. So I'll just leave it at 4x. And I will be back in just a bit.
All right, everybody, I just slowed it down. Let's uh, holler at ATC, see if we can get them uh, on the radio, KTMA. Ooh, no, no tower. Let's see what runways they got. Uh, 28 would probably be the best for us. All right, let's go for 28. Be the easiest for us. Probably no. Is there any approaches for us? No. Let's actually activate that approach. Bring the range down. I did activate that, didn't I? Because it doesn't look it. There we go. Uh, so... Let's go down to about 2,000 for now. go 2,000. So what are we, I can't, uh, 15 or 18 miles out. So let's go ahead and, actually let me put my heading on 28 real quick. Alright, we'll speed this up. Alright, 17 miles out. Can't really see it yet. Looked like it only had one runway, but it does have two. It's I had two earlier when I was looking at it. Let's go ahead and look down here. Put our mixture to full. Make sure all my lights are on. Yep. Bring this GPS back up. 12 miles out, and we're about 4,000 feet. Move that down to 1,800. Not really sure of the altitude. Not too worried about it. We're in a Cessna, so it shouldn't be. It's not a huge deal to me. So, 9 miles from where's it? Asqua? That's what it looks like, Asqua. Airport not in sight just yet. I don't see much out here. There hasn't been much here the whole way. I guess we're in more rural Georgia. I've heard of Tifton before, but I don't know anything about it. There's a request by one of you subscribers. There it is. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's go down to 1,500. Right, you're a little low still. I'll leave that traffic up just for, or ATC up for a minute. Alright, let's uh, slow it down a little bit. And slow us down. This we're about four miles out. I didn't realize there's, there's ILS as we were on our way. Oh well. That looks like it's almost for the other runway. We're a little off. It looks like it's a little extra diagonal. Alright, kill this uh, autopilot. Yeah. It... So we're going to line up. Oh, gotta get. Alright, so we are on normal speed. Oops, my bad. 
Alright, sorry about that. I hit my Windows button instead of the other one. Alright, one notch of flaps is out. Now I've got to find the airport again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that kind of screwed me up. Just we're on the glide slow, but wow, we got way too far over. Alright, we're just too low again. Well, it looks like there's like spotted snow. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Another notch of flaps. Alright, we're on the little runway. And it just feels like we're going so much faster than we actually are. That's why I thought we were on like 2x speed or something. Alright, full flaps. Well, it says we're low. Doesn't really feel like it. Like I said, it feels like we're just going so fast. Trying to keep it up. Thought we were about to go down. Yeah, everything just seems fast. Thought we were gonna end up on the freaking hidden before the runway. That was not not great. Should have paid attention to the fact it was saying we were too low, but it just seemed like we we're just coming in so fast. Alright, so it looks like the buildings are just over to our left a little bit. So we'll roll over there. It just seems like it's so much faster. I don't know why. It was just me. But for a second, I didn't see how we were going to get to the runway. I thought it just they inter uh, touched, but apparently not. At least we got a taxiway. All right, clear the runway. Let's go down here, turn off the landing lights and the stroke, turn our taxi lights. All right. Looks like these buildings are where we want to go. All right, we can cut straight across. We don't have to go down that runway at all. Alright, we should be clear. Didn't hear anyone on the radio either. Although, <laughs> I'm not always usually on the radio. Not really sure where we should go to park. I don't know if we can just park over here or what. Don't want to be near that fuel thing. If you're watching those air hauler videos, especially in the beginning, stupid things always fill you up automatically. I hate that. It's kind of cheating in air hauler. I didn't ever want to, but it fills you up no matter what, even if you don't have the room for it in your tanks. Kind of weird. So I do want to stay away from that. All right. So we've got some parking spaces. Oh, trying to stay on the breaking lines. Not doing a very good job of it. All right, we are at Tifton, Georgia. Get her stopped. Whoa, a little quick. All right, parking brakes on. Turn our taxi light off. Turn off the avionics. All right. 
So we can turn our beacon and nav off as well. Everything is off. So let's unload our passengers. Yeah, 323. Last Hilton has like 180 something. It didn't. It wasn't a really a, a good landing, even though it says exceptional. 195. Not bad for our ticket income. 46 for our cargo. Uh, 93 bucks in fuel. Two bucks for the airport. Ten bucks for insurance. So we made 136 times the 50. Got 6,800. So pretty, pretty decent. Uh, they thought it was that it should be 100 percent, so we were up to 80 percent now, and we got our, our uh, points because I didn't screw up the lights this time, and we were at the correct airport. All right. So I want to see. I don't know if we can tell how much money we've got. Let's see if company manager. I think that was be where it is. So you can only get two hundred nine grand. All right. So I guess uh, this is how much we got. We got two hundred eighty three grand. I've done six flights. Got made twenty six grand. I guess that's not bad. It's what over four grand a flight. That's actually pretty good, I would think. Uh, aircraft still ninety nine percent. So pilots. So I don't know if you if you can hire other pilots and tell them what flights to you know, buy them airplanes and stuff and tell them what to do. I don't know if you can or not. It's just like, I don't see where you could do that. You The vlog, heal them, dismiss them, reintegrate, transfer. I don't even know what that means, reintegrate. I mean, I know what the word means, but reintegrate your pilot. I don't understand. So if we sold this to like buy a grand caravan, we'd have what? 283, 209s, we'd have 492 grand. I don't even know if, I don't, I don't think that that's enough to buy a grand caravan. Because that's kind of what I want to get into. We'll do some more flights than this though. It's not a, you know, it's default, but it's not bad. I just wish they could, we could have a third passenger. I don't know why someone can't like sit up front with me. Technically, we have a co pilot, but I don't know why. But when we do flights, it says two passengers, which is 66% of your capacity. So it seems like we should have a third. I don't know. But anyway, we are in Tifton, Georgia. Next flight, like I said, is to Tallahassee. But I hope you all like this flight, and I'll see you on the next flight.